Morning guys, AWS DynamoDB, the NoSQL solution from AWS. I've been a happy user, get item, update item. But yesterday I was very frustrated because I wasn't getting all, all the results when I was trying to sort of list um, or get views of my, of my data. And I just wanted to share that eureka moment with you. So the important thing here obviously is to realize that um, that um, in my particular table here, I have 103. So when I was getting results and I was counting them, that was l a less than that. That's that's where your problem is, right there. So the confusion is is that when I was listening for for, for a particular UUID, it, it it was coming up in a query, which is indexed. But a scan is different. A scan, in my understanding, is no different than if you just grabbed everything yourself and then looked yourself it doesn't do anything clever in the background in DynamoDB so um, <clears throat> this is where it got really confusing because if I used another value it would be found and that the reason is is because this particular UUID was just further up in the table or something like this so when I was using this other UUID it wasn't being found and that was really really frustrating and the way to get around that is is to be aware of da, 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 the fact that it's paginated basically the fact that that dynamo d results are limited to about one megabyte at a time so you need to paginate through all the results i mean this will become a problem i guess when you're using query but query since it's indexed and if you obviously are using unique things you would never need to paginate but if you were querying uh, against an index field of like status where lots of records could be you know done or new or have some sort of uh, label like that you would need to paginate even with the query results so this is the thing you need to be aware of this last evaluator key and i did write a recursive function with the help of node.js and it's obviously using promises and you're probably thinking to yourself, well, oh my gosh, this is hairy. Why use JavaScript at all? Well, using DynamoDB with the AWS DynamoDB document client, it's just the easiest way to work with DynamoDB. So much easier than all the other languages. You know, CLI, Golang, it's so much easier to work with. I mean, JSON is like a native thing to JavaScript. So you, you do want to do JavaScript, but then you need to learn how to work with promises. Um, and this is a bit of a nightmarish code, but it does work. I'll share the code with you. And now I'm getting all the results. So yeah, DynamoDB, if, you, if you're missing values, this is no doubt what the problem is. So if you found this useful, please like, uh, please subscribe. And if you know better, please let me know. Cheers, guys. Have a nice day.